Hi guys, welcome to Learn Electronics Repair. I have something to review today. This is from Elecro. It's the Crowtail starter kit for Arduino. So this is a beginner's kit for anybody who wants to learn Arduino programming or just microcontrollers in general. This is a good place to start. So this box contains 22 modules. We'll look at them in a moment. 20 lessons that you can go through. And the idea being that once you're finished, you have a good foundation in Arduino programming. Now I'll be the first to admit, I'm not the ideal person to review this because I know how to program Arduino. I'm not an expert like my friend Detlef is, but I know how to do this. I've done it before. I've written software on the Arduino and I've built projects of my own based on the Arduino. So to get a fair review of this product, really, we need a beginner. And I happen to have one. She's named Laura. She's not done this before, but she says she's very happy to have a go. She's not actually on the island at the moment. She'll be here around the end of September, a couple of weeks time. And I'm sure you'll really enjoy meeting Laura. She really is a very nice girl. And she is actually going to be our guinea pig for this experiment. But for now, let's look at this Crowtail Start Kit on the Elecro website. What does it contain and how much does it cost? I'm sure quite a few of you will actually know this company. They're quite well known as a supplier of electronics kits, modules, and they also have facilities such as PCB assembly, 3D printing. There is an active community here with a forum and we can share projects on here also. So guys, come over here, have a look around. There is plenty to see here. But as we are looking today at the Crowtail product, we can go directly to it, Crowtail kits, okay? And the kit we have is actually this one, so the price is just under $40. Let's take a closer look at this kit. So we can see here what we have. It explains here, this is a starter kit for Arduino. It's a perfect kit for beginners. This is what we're going to find out. We have a set of projects from simple to difficult, it says here. So graded projects for us to learn from. This, of course, is going to be ideal for students, for hobbyists, for enthusiasts. We can see here the kit in use. This kind of all plugs together, so it should be relatively easy to build these projects. We can see here, shows you how to connect it. So typical project shows you how to connect the various parts together. Okay. Here's a list of the various sensors. We have various modules. No soldering required. So this is really meant for learning electronics. The user manual is online, so we'll be taking a look at that a little bit later. And the code also. But for now, let's see what's inside the box. And let's have a look at the quality of this. It's time to find out what's in the box. Okay, it's nicely labelled on here on the lid. What goes where? We have LEDs, switches, buzzers. Sound sensors, that like a microphone, light sensor, various logic gates, potentiometers, relays. You can see here we have quite a lot of things. We have a moisture sensor. Okay. We can just take a look at a few of these now, actually. So you can see the various modules has the components on here required. It has the little connector. We have lots of wires in here for plugging things together. So this literally does seem to be rather plug and play. Okay, look at another one. Yeah, a little buzzer we have there, for example. Again, all plug and play. Remove seal after washing. I'm not quite sure how that got in there. Okay. This is the microphone. We can see there's a little preamplifier on here in actual fact. So all these modules will connect via these cables we have here. 
potentially obviously. Uh, I think there's enough different modules here to start exploring your own projects after you've been through the various tutorials. This is a breakout board, so this is where all the connectors plug in. We can take a closer look in the box. Okay, what we have here, four digit display, potentiometer, a relay board there so we can handle higher voltage or higher powered equipment switch from the Arduino we have an Arduino type board here this looks like a custom board to me okay it has a nice table showing all the pins here the various functions Crowduino Uno SD so a custom Arduino based board and that is designed to fit this interface board. So this is where we have all the connectors going to our various modules. You can see they arrange D. I'm assuming these are digital ports, analog ports, U port and I port. I'm sure we will find out when we start using this with some of the various experiments and lessons we have and a battery pack so it's easy to power our projects up yes this takes AAA batteries on off switch yeah so so far so good this looks easy for beginners to put together and concentrate on the programming of the Arduino and the function rather than having difficulty assembling the actual project for the lesson itself okay here it says we have a user guide. I'm guessing that's underneath here. Yes. So this is our user guide. Let's take a look at this. And we have the getting started and installing the IDE. This is the program we use to write software to program our Arduino or microcontroller. Tells us how to upload the program, adding libraries, serial monitors. So this is about the programming and then this is the various projects we can build so everything from LED control this is probably a blinking LED various other projects where we can get logic gates here understanding logic control system and ending up with a plant watering reminder system and brightness display okay this is explaining the scope of this kit what it actually does what we can do with it a little bit about the microcontroller itself the Crowduino and about the Crowtel the series of products this is the base shield this is where we connect everything together okay yeah shows you how to put this together this all seems very much aimed at the beginner to me which is what this is supposed to be explains the various modules we have and getting started okay Arduino not only the name of the microcontroller board but the name of the programming IDE based on C C plus it tells us then a little bit about installing the program adding libraries it tells us what libraries actually are okay explains how to actually use the library manager to find the libraries you want and about the serial monitor this is what you use to monitor your software basically it's a debugging tool so you can see what your software is actually doing on your computer screen okay again tells us how to use that and then we go straight into the lessons and this is where we're going to continue with Laura. So Laura will be here in a couple of weeks. It may take another week to get us together. And Laura is going to take over from me and she is going to build some of these projects and see if she can get them working. And then we will know how suited this is to a real beginner. Okay, so let's all look forward to that and let's see how well she gets on with this beginner's kit being a real beginner okay and i look forward to seeing you all soon with laura on another weird electronics repair video ciao for now guys